Number 34, determine the reference angles for the following angles. So basically, we just need to know for each one of these, uh, what is the, the reference angle. And reference angle means either it's going to be close to the 180 or 360 mark. So right now, 145 degree is about right here. And that means it is actually 35 degrees away from the 180. So we take 180 minus 145. The reference angle is actually 35 degrees for part A. And likewise, we can do the same thing for uh, part B. Well, we know that 2 pi is actually 18 over 9. That's 2 pi, meaning one full circle. So we're moving beyond that. And so we take um, another... 9, that would be 27 pi would be, so this is actually going to be 18 over 9 pi. So then plus another pi would be over here, that's 9, so that would be 27 over 9 pi. In other words, this is going to be pi. So um, 27 is going to be close to 23, so 23 pi over 9 is over here. So we're going to take 27 over 9 pi minus 23 pi over 9. We will have 4 pi over 9. That's one way to do this. Another way to look at this is to actually unwind the 23 pi. So 23 pi over 9 yeah, after you kind of unwrap it around, will become, um, let's take out 2 pi, so that would be 18 pi over 9, which is, take away 2 pi, this is going to be 5 pi over 9. And so 5 pi over 9 is actually a little bit more than half pi, so which is going to be end up in the second quadrant again. So we can take... Um, it's closer to pi over here. So we're going to take pi minus 5 pi over 9. And finding a common denominator, that would be 9. So 9 minus 5 is actually going to be 4 pi over 9. So either way, the reference angle theta prime is going to be 4 pi over 9. So that's part B. And... Um, we're going to do C and D on the next screen. So for C, it says 330 degrees. So for this one, 330 degrees is actually very close to 360 degrees. So we're going to take the reference angle um, over here. Excuse me. The angle is over here, 330. And this is going to be the reference Angle. So reference angle is going to equal to 360 minus 330, which is exactly 30 degrees. And that is part C. And finally, for part D, is 7 pi over 9. And we can see that it is definitely less than 1 pi, but more than pi over 2. So it's going to be somewhere in the second quadrant. That is where 7 pi over 9 is. So we're going to end up taking the reference angle, which is going to be pi minus 7 pi over 9. Again, finding a common denominator becomes 9 pi over 9. 9 minus 7 is 2 pi over 9, and that is the reference angle for part D. And that is the end of problem.